Hi everyone, this is Mr. Leo. And today, we are going to do an activity that combines fine motor skills and math or science. I mean, it falls into both because we are going to be using a measure, a measurement cup or a measuring cup. Okay, the measuring cup is going to help us, it's going to help the children with the numbers. They should already be able to recognize some numbers by now, um, especially between 0 and 10. They'll be able to recognize a few by sight because they've heard it uh, repeatedly and in their minds they've been reinforcing that knowledge. So you need a, a measuring cup and you need another container with water or something. It would be best if it were something grainy since water is quite messy, which is, this is the reason I have a towel. I brought a towel with me. But if you, if you don't mind using salt or, or flour or, or even, actually, we could do um, shaving cream as well. Kids love playing with shaving cream. But whatever you find that might be less messy, but that, that can be picked with a spoon. Okay, that's the key. And that can be poured into another container. So that's, that's this idea. It's very simple. Ask your child to fill. Ask them, you know, what number is this? They'll say, they might say number two. If they don't say it, then you can ask them, is it number one? They say yes. No, no, no. Is it number two? They say yes. Great. Good job. That is called scaffolding. You're not giving them the answer, but you're helping them get to the correct answer. But anyhow, that's the activity. Just have them use their, their, their fingers, you know, to manipulate the spoon and then get them to practice by filling one container with the liquid or, or or material from the other container. This will keep them busy for a little bit, for some time, and um, but they they enjoy this. They enjoy pouring things from one side to the other. But yeah, if you're using water, make sure you you have a towel underneath so that it's all dry, so that you can save yourself some frustration. And if you want to extend on this on this activity. At the very end, you can play a science game, which is, does it sink or does it float? And you can also, you can also start looking at displacement, how water gets displaced when you put objects into the water. How does the level, if the water level is at four, how does it change if you put things into the water? So that's something that you can discuss with your child. Have them make predictions, have them ask them like, what do you think will happen if we put things in? Will it still be at number four? Will there be more? Will there be less? So, you know, turn it into a fun and, and I mean, learning, a fun learning activity. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.